The first few ballots this morning officially tallied in New Hampshire. Tiny Dixville notch overnight with six voters unanimously backing former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley in a race now down to two candidates. Former President Trump hoping for a show of GOP force alongside former primary rivals Tim Scott, Doug Burgum and Vivek Ramaswamy. Ron DeSantis, not on stage, but he has an open invitation, according to a Trump campaign official, after DeSantis dropped out of the race Sunday and endorsed the former president, who's already looking ahead to the general election. You're going to put Crooked Joe and his protectors on notice that we are coming in November. New polling shows him leading Haley by 19 points here. So what does a good night look like? I don't know. I, you know what? I like wins. You know, I, I don't like when people say, you're up by 4,762 points. And then if you win by 4,700, they say it's a gross failure. For Haley today, pressure to prove she can stop or slow Mr. Trump's march to the GOP nomination in the one-on-one -on -one race her campaign has wanted. Haley making the case this is not a coronation with NBC's Ali Vitale. Why should we assume, oh, this time we have to have Biden and Trump? That's not fair to the American people. More people deserve to be able to vote. And I'm going to give them that option. Haley's campaigning with New Hampshire's popular Republican Governor Chris Sununu. To do well in this state, she'll have to win independents like Gary and Brenda Goodrow, both turned off by Mr. Trump. But Gary plans to vote for Chris Christie instead. I realize people tell me I'm wasting my vote, but I have to. I have to look at myself in the mirror. Brenda will write in President Biden's name, but new this morning, fallout over a robocall pretending to be from President Biden, urging people not to vote today. What a bunch of malarkey. That sounds like Joe Biden, but it's not, with the state's attorney general saying it appears to be artificially generated, calling it an attempt to suppress New Hampshire voters. The White House confirms that that call was indeed fake. As for the Republican race here, you can see it. Of course, the room is filling up in this precinct. The expectation that as many as 9,000 voters could end up here throughout the course of the day. It, as always, will come down to turnout. It's a political cliche for a reason. It matters who shows up and who they end up backing. We will see if those undeclared voters show up for Nikki Haley or if Donald Trump maintains what we're seeing so far, which is that big polling lead, Savannah. All right, Hallie Jackson at the polling place. They're voting early, but not often. Just once, Hallie. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.